in the last video, we looked at why preparing the soil is very important. As a quick recap, let's look at what we did for soil preparation. So we loosen the soil and we also turn the soil so that the more lower layers are brought up top. So in this video, we will look at the tools that farmers use for this process. So before we go there, let's really zoom in. What do we mean by loosening the soil? So if you look at any uh, patch of hard soil, you'll see that it's made of clumps. These clumps are nothing but a lot of soil particles that are held tightly together. So as part of soil preparation, we need a way to break these clumps down and then um, make them loose, basically break them down to loose soil particles. Um, these clumps are also called as crumbs and this process of loosening and turning the soil is called as plowing or tilling. So let's start with our tomato plant. We had a very small patch of land. So there uh, we could just use our hands to loosen the soil. So if the soil is really hard, then we can potentially add some water. So adding water kind of softens the soil, thereby making it easy to break down those clumps. In fact, this is a widely used practice where farmers actually water that entire farm before starting the process of plowing to make it easier. So uh, using hands works when it's a small patch. Now, what if you have to do this for your entire backyard? That is not possible just by using hands. So this is where one of the tools um, comes into picture. So one of the tools that was invented this is called a hoe. So the hoe is made of a long rod of wood or iron and it has a bent metal plate at the end. So this structure allows humans to kind of do a whole swinging motion thereby generating a lot of force which is all focused on that bent metal plate. So the bent metal plate goes deep into the soil thereby breaking it, loosening it and actually also just turning it. So this is one of the early instruments that were invented. Now this works when we have to loosen the soil for the entire backyard. But what if we have to do it for an entire farm? So that will take forever, right? It's many, many acres. So here, let's look at another instrument that can help with much larger areas. So this is called a plow. So the plow, most important part of plow is may, is the strong triangular tip called a plow share. So the plow share is heavy and um, it has this uh, triangular tip which makes it easy to go into the soil and as it's pulled, it's able to loosen and also turn the soil. Now the plow share being so heavy brings a problem. Humans can't pull this, they need a lot of power. So to be able to do that, they started getting the help of animals. And for the animal to be able to pull the plowshare, um, the plowshare then was attached to this long rod called a plow shaft. And the other end of the rod was connected to a beam perpendicularly and that beam was put on the back of animals like bulls, which then pulled the plowshare. And as it walked through the farm, the plowshare basically loosened and turned the soil along the way. You'll be very interested to know that there are drawings from ancient Egypt almost 3000 years ago, which depict the use of plows in agriculture. This is really cool, right? Imagine these people 3000 years ago invented some tools which in principle is still foundational for our agriculture. So as years passed, the instrument and the principle itself remained the same, but there were other technological advancements. Humans now could manipulate more stronger metals like iron. So they started making these instruments like uh, the plows or hoes using iron because it was much more durable. Now, as a next step was the introduction of motorized vehicles, tractors instead of animals. 
So tractors had much more power, thereby they were able to pull much heavier instruments. So instead of just using one plow, there they invented a series of plows connected together which is called a cultivator. So this cultivator was attached to a tractor and as the tractor kind of went through the farm, it was able to plow much larger areas at a time and it used much less human labor as well. So that gives us an idea of the different practices and how it evolved over time. So let's do a quick summary. So we learned that the process of loosening and turning the soil is called as plowing or tilling and the hard soil is made of clumps which are also called as crumbs. Farmers generally add water before the process of plowing to soften the soil a little bit. We looked at few instruments that are used. So we looked at hoe, which is made of a long rod of iron or wood with a bent metal plate. Then we looked at plow, which has a plowshare, which is a, a strong triangular iron tip connected to a plow shaft and then connected to a beam so that animals can pull it. And we finally looked at an instrument called cultivator. So cultivator is a series of plows connected together and pulled by a tractor which helped uh, plow much larger areas and with much less human labor.